Hi, this is Julian for Production Expert with a quick video on some things you may or may not know about the grab tool. The grab tool is this one here, shaped like a hand. The hand suggests its purpose. You can pick stuff up and move it from place to place on the timeline. That's its principal purpose. If you if you hold option, you can duplicate, which is always useful. Uh, but this little disclosure triangle here does show that there's some alternatives, a separation and an object grabber, as well as the standard time grabber. We're going to have a look at kind of what they do. Uh, the first one, the separation grabber, kind of overlooked in my opinion. It's 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 useful if it's going to be useful to you. What it does is it speeds up something that you might find you achieve in another way. Um, if you make a selection and you hit B, for example, you then have a, a separate clip that you can then swap back by pressing maybe F8, and then you can pick up and move that clip. Great. So I mean, you can get by without, but if you want to speed things up a little, what you can do is... Uh, make that selection, and then go straight to the selection grabber. And if you pick that selection up, then it automatically cuts it out into a separate clip, as opposed to if we're using the standard grabber. And I did something similar. That's just a selection there. Make a selection, go to standard grabber. And what happens is I select the entire clip and move that, which is a different behavior. Okay, uh, but what about... The object grabber. Now, the object grabber is interesting just because it's the only way in Pro Tools that you can make non-contiguous selections. So what I mean by that is if I select this and I select maybe that by holding Shift, I can select both things at once and I can do things like move them. And uh, yeah, that's that's not something you can achieve in, in another way in Pro Tools. But uh, also do be aware that it also it turns into a crosshair here. And if you want to select multiple non-contiguous clips that happen to all be together. You don't have to click on them all separately like that. You can do this. Um, you might think, well, I mean, okay, I can do that using uh, using the C, the selector, like so. But the thing is there, what you've got is you've got the spaces in between selected as well. You don't have those yellow lines around them showing that uh, this is a non-contiguous selection, which is useful. For example, if you wanted to nudge the end of these clips, if I just hold Command and hit Numeric Plus, there I am, I'm nudging those out and because they've all got fades on I'm actually lengthening the fades as well that's very quick if you have to do that across an awful lot of clips at the same time okay let's move on to some ways that you can use the selector and the grab tool together so what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to make a selection uh, I'm going to make a selection across here and if I want to quickly make a selection like I did by lassoing them with the uh, with the object grabber but I happen to have made a selection I can do that very quickly if I have the object grab tool already selected. I just double click on it, having made the selection, and it'll turn that into a non-contiguous selection ready for use with the grab tool or something like that. You can, uh, if your selection wasn't quite as accurate as that, let's say that it didn't include the whole of these clips here, um, then if I just add control on a Mac or, or start on a PC and then I double click on the object grab, then it'll extend it out to include those ends as well, which would speed up work like that. And you can work in the opposite direction if that's what you want to do. Here I have a non-contiguous selection, and if I wanted to turn that into a contiguous selection, so select these bits in between all of these clips, if I double-click on the select tool, that's exactly what I'll get. So there's some things about the grab tool that you may or may not have known.